are having a great day. I have some easel cards to share, and I have used lace from Lavish Laces. Gisela has reopened her store, and I'm so happy for her. She was gracious enough to send several people that commented on one of her Facebook posts some goodies, and I did share what she sent me, and then I wanted to make some cards. I used paper from, I'm trying to, to finish up a paper collection which is the Mente Lady and I had re picked it up from ASE Craft Supplies which I'm on their design team so I'll link Lavish Laces as well as ASC Craft Supplies and ASC I do have a coupon code which is 10% off any regular price purchases so I used up some scraps from that paper and used some of the rose gold paper from Recollections and Gisela's Gorgeous Laces they're just stunning and great quality as they always were and I used to be on her design team several years ago when she had her store open so we will just start with this one here on the left and I was trying to use my embossing folders and I wish now I would have put paper in behind because you really can't see the embossing by the time I layered but I still think they're pretty but I do prefer this one <laughs> with the green in the background it just makes it pop a little bit more and the dyes are just various dyes I've had in my stash I think this one here is a Mary Ann dye I can't remember the full name and these are Anna Griffin dyes I think I've had and I've never used so I'm trying to use up some products that I've not used <laughs> that's in my stash and we'll just start with this one here and I forgot to mention that the roses are from ASC as well. Forgot to mention the flowers there. But if I don't tell everything up front, then I forget to mention where I picked items up. <laughs> you can see this gorgeous lace. And I just layered it on the bottom and put my sentiment area on top. I used some lace to make a bow. And then I wrapped it around the corners like you would a package. And the floral cluster, I have some of those little berries, some leaves, and I love the apple blossoms. I have one on each side. I love using those for filler around the flowers and then this large peach rose. And it could have been in my stash for a while, the large, the very large flowers. So that's the first one. And then the second one here I had this Anna Griffin dye, just like a tassel. And then I've put lace all around the back of this die cut here. And then I used the coordinating die to cut out the center. And then I have this gorgeous flower with some of the open roses. And then I have some leaves and this beautiful seam binding bow. And I use my Zetter Bow It All to make my bows. And that gives you a double loop bow. I think they have a new one out that you can do a triple loop bow. And here on the bottom, I have my sentiment area and I have this gorgeous lace peeking out. Just beautiful, beautiful laces and just very good quality. They're just so soft. And then on the back, I used the lace that has like the tool on it. So I have it, I cut it down. So I have a strip here and a strip up there. It's just gorgeous. And then I used a different one here under the sentiment area. And on the paper collection, there was this vase and it has flowers in it. So what I did was I just laid the paper flowers over top of it. So you have this gorgeous vase and I love doing that. I just think it's so pretty. And you can see the leaves that are on the, connected to the vase and the flowers. And on this one, I took a little dowel rod and curled the wire stems and have those peeking out. And you can see those little berry pieces that I've added and the apple blossoms and the rosebuds and this is part of that Marianne dye and I it's one of my favorite dyes that I have I just think it's a really pretty dye and like I said I've had that for years and on this one I have the Anna Griffin and I'm not sure where this dye is from 
And on this piece here, I think it's a heartfelt, part of a heartfelt die. And here I have that beautiful lace with the flowers on it. And then I used a smaller trim just to make it come down a little bit longer and another seam binding bow. And the leaves, I think I've cut with my Cricut, some are from dies. And I've got little flowers tucked in, a rosebud, a different roses here. I love these, like the um, flowers are the statement piece. So those are my four cards I have to share with you today. And I would love to, for you to tell me which one is your favorite. So we have one, two, three, and four. And I want to thank everyone for taking the time to watch my videos. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.